Hi everyone, so I am back with another training summary. Um, it's been a little while since I've had a training summary. I actually was out of town. As you will see in this video, I went to New York and then I was in uh, Florida for a little bit. So I decided to take a few clips from my training recently and just kind of throw it together. Um, just as a little bit of an update, I am currently seven weeks out. It's January 17th as I record this. Um, so I'm currently seven weeks out from the Arnold where I will be competing in the 72 kilogram class um, in USAPL, the challenge, the raw challenge. So this was a couple weeks ago. This was actually in late December. And here I believe this was, if I'm not mistaken, 280 pounds. No. I don't even know how much this was. Um, for sets of eight, for sets of eight, I believe, I think this is 270 pounds. Um, so a bit lighter day for me. Um, my squats have really been feeling good recently. Um, as kind of an update, my training's been going well. I've been slowly increasing volume um, progressively over the past six or seven weeks. And currently this week, um, January, mid-January we are right now, I have increased intensity. Yeah, so this is 270 pounds um, that I'm doing here. So these felt really good, really fast, really smooth. My squats have been on fire recently. So just recently this week, I've been increasing intensity and decreasing volume. But for the progressively the past um, about five weeks, I've been increasing volume consistently over um, every single week, depending on my performance. Um, and so I'm actually, my coach is Jake of uh, Genova Nutrition. So um, he's been adjusting my training weekly. And since I've been feeling really good, it's been, it's been increasing pretty steadily each week. So this is 330 pounds, I believe that was for sets four. Um, in town before I went to New York. So this is when I got to New York. Yay! I got to spend almost a week with my friend Rory. Um, she's a top 72 kilogram um, power lifter as well in the USAPL. She actually got fourth at Nationals. So we did a seminar together. This is 295 pounds for six sets of six reps. Um, so I believe I did four by six and this is actually on my birthday. Uh, I remember this so it was a fun way to celebrate my birthday. Um, and then later this week, I did, this was 375, 285, 295, um, I think this is 300 pounds or 305, no, this is 305, so I did sets of four with 305, and I ended up getting, um, I believe nine on my AMRAPs, so my AMRAPs have been really strong recently on squats, I was able to get, I think with 290, I got 12. With 300, I got 10, and then with 305, I got 9. Um, and actually, I had to stop on at 9. I could have gotten more, but I kind of lost my breath and lost my core support. So I was able to, so this was in New York at Siege Training. Um, if you are ever on Long Island, definitely check out Siege um, or Siege. It is seriously one of the best gyms I've been to. I love the atmosphere, love um, the training that they had there. So this was 230 for sets of 10. So my lightest squat day of the week, um, highest reps. So I'm currently squatting four times a week. Um, but in New York, Rory and I, we did a seminar. We're actually currently kind of doing a seminar tour. Our next seminar will be in Nevada um, at the end of January, so in a couple weeks. Um, so that's Rory right there. <laughs> so I'm benching. Um, it's a little bit chilly in New York, so benching in a thermal and sweatpants. Um, so this was 135 for sets of eight, I believe. So I think I had four sets of eight. So this was very high volume for me. Um, on this day, but my bench has actually been progressively feeling better. Um, it's been my weakest lift overall. I only hit 170 at nationals. I hit a 347 squat, 170 bench, and 375 deadlift. Hoping to, my goals for national, or I'm sorry, for the Arnold this year. So, yeah, this was a little bit of a struggle there at the end, because I believe this was my... This was my last set, um, four by eight, um, but still, still hit it. So this is when I got home. This was 335 pounds for sets of four. And then on my AMRAP, I believe I hit eight 
um, with 335, which is a huge PR for me. My deadlifts and my squat and also my bench have just been really improving steadily, um, which is very encouraging for me. Um, I'm very excited about the Arnold. So for the Arnold, I'm um, not really sure exactly what my, what my goals are um, specifically, but I'm hoping to hit possibly a at least a 360, 370 squat. Um, I hit 347 at nationals, but recently was able to double 335 pretty easily in my training, which I'll show here. Um, RPE of about eight or so on those, um, eight or nine. So very encouraged with my progress. I mean, here with 335 on deadlifts, I was able to hit eight, eight reps. Um, and so something I've really been focusing on, my, my stance is a little bit more narrow for deadlift um, and really driving through my hips, squeezing my glutes at the top and, and tight back. So that's something that I was working on, my form, my deadlift form, especially when I was in New York with Rory. Um, Rory has a really strong deadlift, so she was helping me out with that. She also has a really strong bench, um, so she was helping me with bench as well. Um, but something with deadlift that's really important, especially on sumo, is to be patient off the floor and not try to rip it off. Really, it should be the slowest off the floor and then speed up as you as you get up to the top. Um, so, so patience. Patience is a virtue, So especially with sumo. Um, so at nationals, here I'm just like getting exhausted. This is on my AMRAP. This was my fifth set, I believe, and I hit eight um, with 335, which... I mean, even just this past year, I barely hit 335 for a single a couple weeks before nationals because I was recovering from an injury. So my progress recently has really been encouraging. Um, I This was 290 for sets of six um, after I got home from New York, sadly. I miss Rory already. So Rory, if you're listening, I miss you. Um, but I'm going to see her soon because we're doing a seminar in Nevada. Woo! And we're going to go see Chrissy, um, Donuts and Deadlifts, out at her gym. So that's going to be really fun. We're going to be in Reno. So if you guys are interested in attending, if you live near Reno, then you can email us. I will put the email in the description box about details for that. End of January. Um, so then this is just some accessory work that I added in. So. I still add in a lot of accessory work. Every single day, I add in some sort of bodybuilding accessory work. Um, back, I'm adding in four times a week currently because um, my volume for back was already pretty darn high. So I am primarily focus on back and shoulders. The majority of my leg volume comes from squats and deadlifts for bodybuilding, um, but I do add in some glute accessory work as well, like BFR hip thrusts, BFR glute, uh, or I'm sorry, BFR pull throughs, those are two of my favorites that don't put much pressure on your lower back. So this was 315 for sets of six. This was before I headed down to Florida. Um, I believe the day before, so this was two weeks ago. Or, yeah, two weeks. <laughs> Losing track of my weeks now. Um, and actually, my computer, I smashed the screen recently. So that is another reason I have not been doing updates um, because I cracked my brand new Mac screen. I know, lovely, and it cost me like almost half as much as the brand new computer cost just to get it fixed. So, oh well, live and learn. So this was 315 sets of six, felt amazing. So as I was saying at nationals, I am hoping to hit, I would love to hit a 360, 370 squat, a at least 180 bench, uh, my previous best is 170, and then at least a 400 deadlift. Um, that would be amazing. So that's that's something I've been wanting to hit for a while. And um, based on how I've been feeling lately, if I stay healthy, then that shouldn't be a huge issue. Um, but yeah, so very excited about the Arnold. And I don't know if I keep saying nationals, but what I mean is that the Arnold so what I hit in October was at Nationals, and what I'm aiming to hit will be in March at the Arnold in Columbus, which is my hometown. So this was in Florida, um, shiny plates. So this was 310, four sets of four. And then on my AMRAP, I hit seven reps, which is not a volume PR, but I was happy considering travel, fatigue, and, and everything. And then this was at um, MI40, probably the most amazing gym I've ever been to with Jorge in the background. Um, Ryan Doris squatting. He's squatting like 500. I don't even know how much he's squatting, but Genova fam, they're the best. 
Um, so <clears throat> this was 150 pounds, and I was super excited about this. This is my AMRAP, and I hit six reps, I believe, which is a brand new PR for me. Um, my shoulder, I've, been, I've dealt with a shoulder injury in the past, and my shoulder injury has been so much better recently. It's been very encouraging. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I hit six reps pretty, pretty well on that. And then this was the day that I left. Um, so this was actually this past week. So, um, really ramping up intensity and bringing down volume. So only three sets of two, but this was 360 pounds. So only 15 pounds off of my one rep max from nationals. And I hit this for doubles. So, I mean, pretty exciting for me. I have never been able to hit that for doubles. Um, and then I had 315 squats the next day, which is shown here. Something about just having three plates on each side is super intimidating. Um, and this was three sets of four with 315. So these were super fast, super smooth. Um, RPE like seven or eight, really, really good. Um, which actually, interestingly, prepping for nationals this past year and dealing with a back injury, I failed on the 317 squat. So. Just seeing, you know, if you stay consistent and you work through your injuries and you don't give up, um, you can really progress pretty fast. So I'm very encouraged, very thankful, very blessed that I've, you know, kind of figured out um, this back, well, knock on wood, figured out this back injury and it's feeling a lot better. So um, very encouraged by pro my progress. So this was 340 pounds for sets of four. Now, this was the day after 315, and you can see my back is rounding a teeny bit, and that's something that I do struggle with a little bit. Of course, 340 is pretty close to my one rep max, so of course a little bit of rounding is going to happen, um, especially at, you know, sets of four, but overall I was pretty happy. Oh, and this is just a clip um, of 295 squats for sets of six that, um, <laughs> that Paul took. So whenever you want something artsy, just ask Paul to film you. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then this was this week. Super exciting. Yay. This is like probably the best squat day that I've ever had. Um, I was able to double 335 squats pretty easily. Um, you can see by my head knot. <laughs> so this was exciting for me because I only hit 347 at nationals, which is only 12 pounds more than this. So um, being able to double this seven weeks out from the Arnold is very encouraging. So, um, so this was my second set, I believe, of uh, doubles, and I did three sets. So, as you can see, um, just with these films here recently, my volume has gone down, my intensity has gone up recently, and this is my last set of doubles. Um, and then in this last clip, this it, it will be 160 pound bench for doubles, and I only had a 170 at nationals. So. Overall, my progress has been good. I just wanted to put together this quick little training update. Um, I'm still alive, and now that I have my computer fixed, um, hopefully I will be able to put out a little bit more content and maybe do some vlogs or some macro videos or recipes. Um, so, yeah, and, you know, as always, leave in the comments some ideas you guys have for some videos, and this was 164 doubles, which was awesome. Yay, these felt great. Um, so check me out on Instagram, KDN100. I'm also on Facebook and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.